Honestly, we all have our different views on what houses should look like. But only a few of us will opt to select our building and design materials from the junkyard. Built on two and a half acres of land in Cambria, California, the Nitwit Ridge is a beautiful collection of trash arranged into a functional house. The hillside lot was bought by Arthur Harold Beale in 1928, and for the next 50 years, he carved out the terraces, creating his own castle on a hill with only a pick and shovel. Also known as Der Tinkerpaw or Captain Nitwit, Arthur Harold Beale collected garbage for the town of Cambria in the 40s and 50s, but what Cambrians considered useless, he made good use of. He converted them for use on his property and also made use of the natural materials on the property. Some of the other building materials used in the house are concrete, without which the house most probably wouldn't have stood up till now, abalone shells, maybe he was a great lover of art, just maybe, but beer cans? Well, that won't be shocking anymore when you find out that he also used car parts, car rims, washer drums, old stoves, and tiles. The house has even been compared in the past to William Randolph Hearst's house, the Hearst Castle, and it is even rumored that Captain Nitwit used to work at the eccentric edifice and that the Hearst Castle could have been the inspiration behind the Nitwit Ridge. It is also speculated that some of the materials used in building the Nitwit Ridge were picked from the ruins of Hearst Castle. Beale was just another guy, and he spent decades building the house with little to no help. He did everything, including the wiring, which some believed was up to code. His choice of building materials gave him his reputation and us a reason to talk and write about his house and, by implication, him. He had several beer cans lined up in the garden, claiming that the howling sound they made when air blew through them would scare the gophers, when in truth, Captain Nitwit just loved beer. Some said he would take a coffee break every 15 minutes, but his coffee mug was always filled with bush beer. In 1986, Nitwit Ridge was designated a California Registered Historical Landmark. Arthur Beale died in 1992, and his ashes were spread around a redwood on his property. The house stood empty for another seven years until it was bought by a couple, Michael and Stacy O'Malley, in 1999 for $42,000. The house still stands, and its new owners offer tours around the edifice. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and hit that notification bell for more videos brought to you by Epic Clips.